In a communique addressed to top government officials, the paramount chief of the Douala community in the littoral region, Jean-Yves Ebumbu Douala Mangabel, says the people of Dikolo, under the Canton Bell chiefdom, have once again been struck by inadmissible violence under the pretext of government's ambition to enhance economic development in the city of Douala. According to him, the neighborhoods of Newbel, Kogmondo, Gange, and Esenge have also suffered the same fate in the past, and this continues to greatly affect the customs and tradition of the Douala people, as enormous material damages have been incurred, not forgetting the displacement of people due to this phenomenon. For example, this victim says that the demolition exercises conducted by the Douala City Council has rendered him homeless and many others in the process. He even recalls that this demolished site was once inhabited by Robert Douala Mangabel, who was assassinated on the 19th of August, 1914. Jean-Yves Ebumbu Douala Mangabel also reiterates that nothing is seemingly going to be the same in his village. He demands to know why the government is erasing every facet of the sour culture with his forceful evictions and demolition exercises. He's calling on government officials to respect its legislative texts and treaties related to the well-being of its people and tradition. The paramount chief in his communique also reminds Cameroonians that these demolition exercises have been going on for over seven years and says it's time the government put an end to what he qualifies as an attempt to eradicate the Dwala and Sawa culture.